Hey, Pete from Chicky and Peace Cafe here, and I'm here with my sports segment this week, and uh, I'm here with Vince Papali, uh, number 83 from the Philadelphia Eagles, and, and Vince, Disney Pixar Films, the movie Invincible, the name works, you work. Vince, what, when they came to you and said Mark Wahlberg was going to play you in a film about your life, what, what did you really think? Who? <laughs> really? I didn't know Mark Wahlberg. I didn't know all about him until I did some research, and then a lot of people told me about Mark, and then I realized, oh, my goodness, this is the Mark Wahlberg, you know, from Marky Mark, and, uh, and here it is. Uh, it, it, my, my head just blew apart. Vince, how much, how much, well, the excitement in your life probably was you made the team, right. you know, then you wind up playing for the Eagles, and it was great, and then this, this came about. Was the excitement similar, or if it was different, tell us how. Uh, the, the excitement, there was that joy. It wasn't the spontaneous joy that I had when I found out I made the Eagles. When Dick Vermeil came up and said, congratulations, old man, you're a Philadelphia Eagle. I mean, I just exploded. My, the scream was primal that you probably could have heard all the way out in Dallas. Uh, this has been more subtle because it's been an evolving process, and, and it's taken four years to eventually come to the culmination of the film. But um, it's still as, as exciting. And uh, I think right now it's even more gratifying because I can share it with more people. I can share it with my family, with Janet, Gabriella, Vincent. And, and because of that, and because the story's been resurrected, I'm reinvented. Um, it, it's as good as it gets. I like it a lot better this time. You know, I, I saw the trailer, and I was actually on the set one day with you, and I appreciate that. Um, your son is in the movie. He's wearing an 83 homemade Eagles jersey. Is that like the ultimate joy? I have three sons. Is that the ultimate joy of watching your son going to be in a, a, in a Disney movie? That's amazing. My daughter is in the movie. I'm in the movie. Janet's in the movie. Uh, but Gabby and Vinny are in, in a featured scene. What you didn't see in the trailer was Gabby was the one that threw him that ball that wound up in front of the car where War Mark Wahlberg was driving. But uh, to see my children in the movie and for them to walk around and say, I am in a Disney movie, it's the coolest thing you can't imagine. So uh, it's as great as it gets. Well, well let me tell you. I couldn't be happier for you as your friend. I know your wife's proud of you. Everybody in Philadelphia is proud of you. You're going to bring a great light onto our city and to the Philadelphia Eagles, who we all love, too. But I, I want to tell you something. If the people in Philadelphia, when this comes out and you watch this, if you haven't seen that film, which you probably will, I can just tell you from the trailer, you'll hear a lot about it, this film's going to be great. And I'm going to let you go with one thing. E A G L E S would be nothing without Vince Papali. From Pete, Chicky and Pete's, talk to you. Every Sunday, millions of fans experience the power and rush of NFL football. But in 1976, kill me. for the Philadelphia Eagles and a fan named Vince Papali, Vince, we've had some rough times, you and me. Oh, things are going to turn around. It was time to do something. Welcome the new head football coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, Mr. Dick Vermeule. That had never been done before. This coming Saturday, Philadelphia Eagles will hold open tryouts. Now, you got to try out this weekend. Nobody's trying out. He's 30 years old for one thing. The Eagles' biggest fan. So the one where Vince runs around everyone. Is about to take a shot at a dream. Even if you're down there for one hour, you're down there. What brings you out here? Would be an eagle, baby. How are we doing, AC? I've seen glaciers move faster. Where'd you play your college ball? I didn't play college ball. You mind me asking how old you are? If you don't mind me asking how old you are, coach. Shocking news from today's tryout. The Eagles have decided to invite one man to training camp. Philly's own Vince Papali. -E Eagles! In 1976. To make this roster, you must throw away all fear. A 30-year-old bartender. Excuse me, my name is spelled wrong. Nothing personal. But is it really going to matter? Who played only one year of high school football. You ain't going nowhere! Try to become the NFL's most unlikely rookie. I'm not supposed to run all this. You can't wear quarterback pads. You won't last a week wearing those. That's in person. It's really going to matter. Inspired by the incredible true story. The Vincent! You need to show me more than that, Polly? This summer. You have a story, my friend. One man is pursuing an entire city's dreams. Papali is not making this team, and I am not going to be the laughingstock among the owners. Well, I told you not to get your hopes up. 
Didn't mean that I wasn't. Mark Wahlberg, Greg Kinnear. Let's go to work. Invincible.